The Carolyn Dehoff era got off to a fast start. In the first regular season game, true freshman Katie Burkle poured in 18 points. And the Bison almost knocked off Northern Iowa out of the Missouri Valley. Just five days later, new Bison assistant Kelly Roisland made an emotional return to her alma mater in Minneapolis. Led by Abby Plucker's 14 points, the Bison put a big time scare into the Big Ten Gophers in front of nearly 5,000 fans. Plucker continued her hot start with 20 points as the Bison overpowered Valley City State, giving Coach Dehoff her first win as a head coach. On December 6th, the Bison opened up conference play by jumping out on Centenary 20 to nothing. Inger Hodgson had a real stat stuffer, 19 points, five steals, and five three-pointers. You know, you're not gonna let down 20-0, 30-0, 40-0, you're gonna keep going. Especially it's conference. You wanna make a statement, we did. Two days later, the Bison hammered league power Oral Roberts thanks to more quick moves to the basket from the true freshman. Burkle pumps in 21. 22 more for the red hot Hodgson, and NDSU starts 2 0 in the league with two tough non conference games on the horizon. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I, that's pretty much what I said in the locker room. I'm kind of speechless because we've come so far, especially defensively. Dehoff grew up in Wyoming and coached at the university, making NDSU's trip to Casper to take on the Cowgirls a special one. A 17.9 rebound effort from Hodgson had the Bison within five before the powerful Wyoming Cowgirls pulled away late. The Bison lost Abby Plucker for the season on that road trip, leaving the team shorthanded for the huge home game against a tough Creighton squad. A solid effort inside by Joel Zaruba and company had NDSU up 11 in the second half, but the spirited upset bid by the Bison would come up short. The Bison started the new year on the road in Fort Wayne. The Bison dominated the glass and got plenty of scoring from true freshman Katie Burkle and Whitney Trecker, who dialed up some long distance. Bison get a solid road win in Fort Wayne. A regional network TV game put the Bison on center stage against Western Illinois January 10th. NDSU, though, suffered another season-ending injury in this game to Nicole V. Hill. They built a big lead with some big threes and held on thanks to 13 big points from Whitney Trecker. Definitely the defensive end. That's how we get the get the ball, get a defensive stop, get the ball, and put on an offense, see what happens. That's basically, that's our whole mindset is defense right now. Despite the growing injury list, the Bison put a complete game together against a solid IUPUI team. Senior Jerry Penley led the charge down low against IUPUI center Julia Witted. She was backed by a strong effort from Ashley Samuelson. And in the middle of January, the Bison found themselves in first place in the conference. To say that, oh, we only have seven players, uh, original players and we're first in the conference five and one you know you can't really you can't really say anything else to prove somebody wrong or to prove yourself that that you know you can still do it that set up a huge showdown against nationally ranked South Dakota State a TV game from Brookings and against all odds the Bison scrapped their way to a first half standstill trailing by just two at the break Jerry Penley kept it close with a long ball, but eventually the Bison fell to the Jackrabbits, but gained some respect in the process. It's the little things that we just let go, you know, it's not staying low on defense, you know, just turning out, like the ball over, you know, we kind of got a little bit of frazzled by their pressure, you know, just, just a little, like lots of little things. The Bison started to hit their stride with a bigger lineup. Jill Zaruba pumped in 24 points in a seven point home win over an improving IPFW team. Ashley Samuelson had some of her best moments as a Bison player, netting 16 as the Bison pulled away from Southern Utah on Valentine's and Think Pink Day. Jerry Penley didn't miss a shot in a 19-point throttling of UMKC in Fargo. Senior night was a non-conference affair against high-scoring Utah Valley. Jerry Penley scored 19 points in her final game at the BSA. Mid-season walk-on Kate Mosier was also honored. Back to conference play where the Bison needed a win in a nationally televised game at Oral Roberts. ORU had no answer for the dynamic guard duo of Katie Burkle and Inger Hodgson. Bison roll and lock up the three seed in the conference tournament. Quarterfinal action from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Western Illinois led the Bison by 15 with under 11 minutes to go in the game, but the Bison under Carolyn Dehoff have never been known to panic, and it was the true freshman who bailed them out. Katie Burkle hit three of four threes. 
with 16 points. Whitney Trecker finished it off with some stellar defense. A ferocious rally ends in a three-point Bison win. It gives our kids a chance to really continue to believe that what we continue to do uh, makes a difference and matters. That it's a lot of the times it's the intangibles. Uh, it's the effort plays, it's the pursuit. Our entire team had to come together for this one and it feels amazing, especially to know that we were trailing by so much at half and we didn't give up. In the semifinal round, the Bison tried to beat Oakland for the first time all year. Another three-point barrage helped the Bison overcome a 20-point first half deficit, but the Golden Grizzlies would hang on. The Bison end the season in the conference semifinals. A gutsy effort all year long by first-year head coach Carolyn Dehoff and her players, and a strong foundation for success was officially in place.